Today I am making a video about something that is very near and dear to me, uh, and that is having greener and safer household products. All my life I've been allergic to very strong fragrances and harsh chemicals. My mom was a stay-at-home mom and her pride and joy was keeping a clean house and she would scrub it from top to bottom. But whenever she did, I would usually end up sick in bed with a severe migraine. And at the time, we didn't really understand what it was. We just thought I had sinus problems. But as the years went by, I began to realize that no, I was really having horrible reactions to the cleaning products that she was using. And as I moved into my own home and used my own cleaning products, I learned which ones I could use and which ones I couldn't, which ones would trigger a migraine that would send me to bed and which ones didn't really make me that bad off. And even then, I would still have to open the windows and make sure that the house was airing out as I was cleaning. Then a couple of years ago, when my oldest son was about 12 years old, he suddenly started coming down with migraines as well. And it was just like, oh no, 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 I cannot put my child through the, the pain that I went through myself all these years. So something had to change. I had to revamp all the products I was using because I wasn't going to have my children being sick. And the fact that he was sick and I was sick, it was telling me that these just cannot be good for us. Something is really wrong with all the products we were using in our house. So about the same time he started having migraines, I found this book at Target and I bought it, and I read it cover to cover, and I was shocked at the amount of information I found out. For example, in the European Union and England and Australia, there's over 1,100 banned chemical substances. The governments felt that there was enough research to justify banning these items from being used in the products in their countries. Yet, in America, there's only six. Six out of over 88,000 chemicals. So at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you to find out what products work for your family and where you want to draw the line, what you do and don't want in your house. Right now, I'm going to share with you the products I use that I've been using for a couple of years now and they really, really work for me. First, I'm going to start with my surface cleaners. The first one I have here is my seventh generation wood cleaner. It's lemon chamomile, and I love this stuff. I used to use Lemon Pledge all the time, and Lemon Pledge does a wonderful job. It gives you that really high gloss shine on your furniture, but the problem with it is you can't touch it, because the minute you touch it, you leave fingerprints and all kinds of marks on it. This stuff does a great job. It cleans the wood, it puts moisture back in the wood, but because it's a liquid and not a wax, there's no fingerprints, so not only do I get clean furniture, but I don't have spots. For me, this is a win, and I love this product. So that's the first one I use. The next one I love is my Honest Multi-Surface Cleaner. This took the place of like my Clorox spray for my countertops and my, my refrigerator front, all those things. This is scented with white grapefruit essential oils, and it does a wonderful job. It cuts through the grease stains on top of my oven, my, my, um, my stove top. It works really, really well, so I highly recommend this one. Moving on to the bathroom, and the bathroom, nobody likes to talk about it, it's kind of gross, but it has to be clean. And this is another place where I rely on Honest products. And this is not a sponsored video, I'm not being paid by Honest to promote these products, but I'm really happy with them. And the first one is my toilet bowl, toilet bowl cleaner. Excuse me, I'm having a hard time talking today. And, you know, it does the job. That, and that's really all that matters. You put this in, it's not abrasive, it's not going to scratch the bowl. And this is scented with tea tree and eucalyptus. It kind of reminds me almost of Vicks Vapor Rub when you're cleaning the toilet. So the stains are gone and the toilet bowl is nice and clean and de-germed. The next product I use in my bathroom is my Honest Bathroom Cleaner. And this can be used on all of your chrome, in your sink, the countertops. And it says you can also use it on tile and grout. I find that if you use this consistently, it will stop the mold from forming on the grout. But if you have a lot of mold already in the grout, this will not remove it. You're going to have to then use your Tilex Mold and Mildew Remover. 
but that's a really bad trigger for me, that product. So whenever that happens, my husband has to clean the bathroom with that stuff, and the fan has to be on, and the windows have to be open. But this will work really, really well if you remember to use it every couple of days in your shower, and if you remember to squeegee. So if you're using this and squeegeeing, you will have a very nice shower. Moving on, I'm going to go into my laundry room. And I've tried the Honest.com washing tabs and their liquid laundry soap, and they're great products. They really are. But I find they're kind of on the pricey side, and I found at Target, not Target, Costco, this giant, giant jug of the Ecos laundry detergent scented with magnolia and lily essential oils. I love this product. It does an amazing job cleaning the clothes. They come out smelling really fresh, but very lightly scented. And again, if you're looking to eliminate a lot of those scents and fragrances from your house, the fact that the scent is mild is a perk. Is a perk. So um, if you're looking for that linen fresh scent from your Tide or your Downy, this isn't going to give you that scent at all. But it's earth friendly, it's biodegradable, it's plant based, and I'm really satisfied with how it cleans my clothes. And then one Honest product I do use for my laundry is the Honest Stain Remover. I have boys, and boys get very, very dirty. This is really good. This is scented with the French lavender, and I like to spray this like the day before. So if the boys come in and they've got stains or heavy dirt on their clothes, I'll spray the clothes down and then just toss them into the laundry basket. And then the next day, when I throw everything into the machine, it comes out nice and clean. And the stains that the Ecos might not remove on its own, this will definitely bring out those stronger stains. And finally, my favorite, fav again, I cannot talk today. My favorite fabric softener is actually uh, white vinegar. This is another Costco purchase. This giant container is like three dollars. So it's a great value. I put about a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup in a load of laundry and for a long time I didn't buy the vinegar. A lot of people were recommended it to me for laundry purposes but I was afraid the clothes were going to stink. Um, one of the reasons I never bothered making my own homemade spray with vinegar and like lemon peels was because I'm not really a fan of the smell of vinegar. But when you rinse the clothes out with the machine, they come out, there's no smell of vinegar on your laundry at all. And again, $3, the clothes are incredibly soft, the fabrics feel great. And then also, I forgot to mention with the Ecos laundry detergent, buy this at Costco. I know they sell it at Whole Foods, but at Whole Foods, to get this much quantity, it's about three times the price. This enormous jug is only $12.99 at Costco, and it does... 210 standard loads, but if you're a mom like me, I don't think I ever wash a standard load. I'm going for extra, extra large. I'm stuffing in as many pieces of clothing as I can get in that machine. So I probably get about 120 to 150 loads out of that container. But again, it lasts forever. It really, really does. Moving on to my kitchen. Here's another Honest product I use. This is the Honest, Honest dish soap and it's in the white grapefruit scent. She has a couple of scents. She has lavender, lemongrass, and the white grapefruit. This is definitely my favorite one to get. I love the smell of this a lot. And she's made great improvements on this. When she first brought this product out a couple of years ago, it was a low sudsing dish soap. The, the, the dishes were clean, but you didn't have that good sudsy feel in your sponge. It's been improved a lot. It's still plant-based and biodegradable and completely free of all those harsh chemicals and phthalates and sodium lauryl sulfates, but it really does suds up really well and it makes your dishes spotless and it smells good to boot. One of the last products I use in my house from the Honest Company is the Foaming Hand Soap. This is a huge improvement over her original hand soap. Her original one was just liquid soap in a pump and it had no suds whatsoever. But this one, the foaming hand soap, is just as good as the soaps you would get at the Bath and Body Company. Um, but it's just, again, it's free of any chemicals that you want to have out of your house. 
So I keep this next to the kitchen sink. There's one of these in every bathroom and we really like this a lot. So those are the different products I use and if you're not familiar with the Honest Company, you can do it two ways now. You can actually buy a lot of these products at Target. She made a deal with Target so that they're available. And if you're buying something inexpensive like the dish soap or the hand soap, I actually recommend buying these at Target as opposed to ordering them through her company. But for the more expensive items, um, we use a lot of her products. We really do. Even for the bath and body stuff, a lot of her products are pricey. And so she does a thing where she bundles. So for $35, you get any five products whether it's a $5 hand soap or a $15 sunscreen, you get five products for $35. And then if you add on a couple more products to take your bill up to 50, you will get free shipping and handling. So I highly recommend bundling her most expensive items and getting the free shipping and handling to get the biggest bang for your buck. But like her baby wipes, are inexpensive, the dish soap, all of those things, I really recommend getting those at Target to get the most value for your money. But also her um, bath and body wash and shampoo, they now sell at Costco as well. And it's like $14.95 for two enormous pump bottles. So you get almost double the quantity of that product compared to what you would pay at Target or online. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me in the future, click the subscribe button and I will talk to you later. And I will also be sure to link some of these products below or at least list where I buy them from. So talk to you later.